Hey everybody, it's Jake and welcome to day 15 of the Learn GIMP tutorial series. Today we're going to be going over custom brushes. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. Now, there's a lot of reasons why we'd want to create custom brushes, but this one in particular would be a really good one to create a custom brush for so that we can just create this foliage really quick. So the first thing what we want to do is we just want to open a new file. and We want to set this width to 30 and 30 on the height as well. Advanced options. Let's go to our, uh, our fill and let's make that transparency. And then we'll just hit OK. That'll open up a new one right here. Let's zoom in. There we go. Now we're going to do multiple layers on this one. So the first thing we want to do here is we just want to make a copy of this layer so that we have three of them. So just two copies is what we'll make. And we're going to do some green foliage. So we're just going to select this right here. And, um, and you could just you know find some green somewhere, some green color right there, kind of a darker foresty green. And then hit OK. For the brush, go ahead and select the brush, make our opacity 100. And let's check the size real quick. Size is a little big. Let's go down to five here. And then we're gonna come over here to this one right here, the solid one. And then we're just gonna put a bunch in here. Just click anywhere. Okay, just make that random. And then what we're gonna do is let's do another layer over here. Well, we already have it, but let's just hide that those other two. So we'll just hold down shift and select that one on the eye. We're gonna change this green up a bit. Make it a little bit lighter. There we go. And we'll just select in there. All right, and then let's go to the next layer. Hold down shift, select the eye there, and let's do a darker one. There we go. It's kind of a grayish. Grayish doesn't really need to have any green in it. I'm going to bring the size down a little bit on this one to represent it being farther away. There we go. Then we're going to do a foliage as well on this one. All right. Get some up there. All right, so we've got those three layers now. Now we're just gonna right click out here. Go ahead to File and Export. So what you need to do is you need to find your GIMP file. And for mine, it's under my username. So you can go down to Users and then find the username and then GIMP 2.8 is the one I'm on. Go ahead and select that. And then the Brushes folder, that's where you wanna save this. And we wanna save this as a .gih, which stands for Gigapaint Hires, instead of a PNG. So we're just going to name this uh, foliage, aluminum foliage, right there, and GIH, and then we're just going to export it. Now spacing percent, let me just explain this real quick. If we have it at 100%, when we're drawing this, it's going to lay the first image, then the second, and then the third. So by having it at 20%, it'll overlap a little bit, but we're going to do this at 40% here. Cell size is 3030, 30. that's the size of the image, so that's what we want the cell size to be as well. Number of cells is three, that's fine. And then we want the ranks to be three because we want it to grab all three of these. Now if we were to do two, it would just do the first two, number one and two. And so let's go ranks three, and we're gonna set this as random, meaning it'll shuffle through these three as we uh, draw it down. And the last thing we want to do is just name this on the description. So that means what this will like this right here, the name of it is hardness right down here. So whatever we type in here, that'll be the new name right down here. So we're just going to do uh, green foliage here. Foliage, there we go. And then we're just going to export it. All right, so let's open a new image, not this one. We want to open a new one. So I'm going to drag that over a little bit. And you can open up a blank one if you want, but I'm just gonna grab this one right here, drop it in the tool area to open the new image. And then we wanna use our new brush. And how we do that is we come over to here to our brushes toolbar, and we wanna hit refresh. You see all these tools that we, or the brushes we currently have. And down here, you'll see the blue, uh, blue arrows going in a circle. That's your refresh button. You'll see when I push that, that this new one came up. There's this little red triangle right here, which means if I hold this down, it'll show the three images that are included. I'm 
I'm just left clicking my mouse so it kind of just gives you a preview of what you're going to get so like with this one right here we can see the different uh, the different uh, strokes and layers that that brush is going to create so go back up to our new brush select that Make sure you're on the brush tool and let's check the size it's kind of small can't really see it let's turn that up a little bit come in here all right and we can start clicking right about there now you'll see as I'm as I'm clicking it's giving a different let's just stay close in right about you'll see that as I click it's giving a different color each time but if I go like that and drag it we're getting a lot more of a, a smooth flow let me just undo that I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here I'm gonna come down here to my spacing and I'm gonna turn that up so that it's more staggered there we go so again, with this spacing down here, we can always adjust how far apart these are. There we go. Actually, in the center, we want to do a little bit. I'm just kind of throwing that in there. Let's get the spacing up a little bit more. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. That last stroke wasn't good. We can actually uh, make this a little bit larger well not that large bring that down still okay make them a little bit larger up here close Give kind of a fade effect and then we can make it smaller and we can also turn down the opacity up here to maybe 60 and uh, then we can do that back there a little bit so I'm not doing this perfectly but uh, kind of see the, the usefulness of it. If you zoom out you can see that we're starting to get more colors in here. There we go. Alright, so that's definitely one way that using our brushes, our custom brushes, is uh, useful. So let's go ahead and dive into this a little bit deeper and we're going to create a new custom brush and we need to do advanced options. Make sure we do it uh, alpha is the background color, transparency, and then 30, 30. Go ahead and hit OK. We'll zoom into this one. Now this one we're going to use letters instead so that we can kind of see what's going on. And we want uh, our text to be any font you want, size 36 as well. And then we're just going to click in this area, drag that down. Might need to come out a little bit. There we go. I'll have to bring that up a little bit. I'm going to click in here and I'm just going to type in A. I'm going to slide this over. I really want to center this A in this square. Come out a little bit more. There we go. And now we can just delete that background, that black ground right there. And we want to copy this three times, so we'll just copy, copy, and copy. Let's go down to the second layer. Now, if you again, if you hold down Shift and you select this eye area, it'll hide all the other layers except for the one that you selected on. And then I'm going to change this one to a B. And then I'm going to go to the next layer right here. I'm going to unhide that. There we go. I'm going to make this one C. I'm going to go to the next layer here. Hide that. I'm going to make this one D. So now we're going to save this again or export again. File, export. It's going to automatically go to that file that we last used. So this one we're going to save as ABCD. We already have the extension we want, which is .gih. And we're just going to hit export. And for this one, we want our spacing to be 100% because we want spacing for each letter so that they're not overlapping. We can really see description. We're going to make that ABCD as well. Cell size 30, number of cells 4, uh, ranks we need to set to 4, so 4 layers. And instead of random on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to do incremental. So I'll select that there, and now we're going to export it. So now when we come down here to the refresh button, there we go, refresh. I'm just going to open a white, uh, a, a white image for right now. So we'll just go new, advanced options, background color, we'll just set that to white. And let's just make the size 700. All 
Okay, and now we're just gonna switch to the brush. And if we already refreshed, it should be right here. Hold that down, A, B, C, D, it's showing that I have all four of them there. And if I zoom in here, eh, let's just change the size a bit. Let's just bring the opacity back up to 100. Change the size so we can get a good look at it. Maybe a little too big there. So we drag it across and it goes B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A. Now, it's starting at B, C, D, A. Where it starts is fine, but it's going to go B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So you'll see that that is counting, not counting, well, it's, it's going through in alphabetical order because of how we did this in order. So if we had done numbers or even colors, if we did red, blue, green, it'd be red, blue, green, red, blue, green as the color. So again, B, C, D, A, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So let's go ahead and come back into our image right here. We're gonna save this a little bit differently now. So go ahead and hit your right click and we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do a, a export, oh, file export. And everything's good up there. Oh, actually let's just change this to, uh, add a two right there so that we have two different ones. I'll hit export here. And instead of incremental, this time, because we're just going to be playing around with this a little bit, this time instead of in in incremental, sorry, <laughs> I just had, a, had an aneurysm or something, we're going to do uh, Angular. And I'll show you what that does in just a second. So we're going to export it now. Uh, ABC D angle. Angular. Angular. And then we're going to hit export. Let's go back to this right here. I'm just going to undo this that we have space. Come down here to our refresh button. Go over to our new one, ABCD Angular, 26 by 30. And then we're gonna come and we're just gonna go to our right, B, 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 B. So wh what happened? So let's go up, let's start at the bottom, go up, A, 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 A. Let's pull from the right to the left, D, 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 D. And then let's go from the top down, C, C, C. So you can see how by changing the angle, if you were to do like say straight lines, but then you had the thicknesses change, this is one way you could do pens. If you had the thicknesses change as you rotated, then uh, then 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 it would change the depth, so it kind of act like a brush. So if I undo this, I'll kind of show you. If I draw a box here, A A B B C C D D D. Perfect. So there's a lot more other settings that we can do, things that we can change. You can do, actually do this by color. So instead of just having a black, you could have red when you're up, and then uh, green when you're going to the right, and then purple when you're going from a downward stroke, and whatever, when you're doing D. Or you could just do three. You don't necessarily have to do four. We can just do two colors, right? So you could do like a gray when you're going like um, right to left, left to right. And then you could do like a black when you're going, uh, when you're going uh, left to right. Right to left, I'm confused now, <laughs> but but I, I think you get what I mean. And the last thing I wanted to show you is if we were to come in here, let's say we quickly just wanted to take, instead of saving it into our brushes folder, let's just say we wanted to take some of these uh, black branches right here from this current image that's open. We could just come up here to the ellip elliptical select tool and we can select this area right there. There we go. And I can just hit control C and you'll see down here that it just brought this up, this new brush. And the brush is called Clipboard 101. Well, it just tells us the dimensions, but uh, that doesn't really matter. But it's just, it's the clipboard. And then we can come back over here and we can actually use that brush. So I come right to here and then I can just paint that brush in. Now, because there's white in the background and it's not, um, there's this white right here, it's not gonna look that great in this image because it's bringing that white along with it. So, I mean, if we did the spacing, See how that's gonna look. Yeah, it's still still ugly, but if you're doing something within that same picture, let's see if I come into here, let's see if color to alpha helps at all. Colors, and let's do color to alpha. And yeah, it's got the right one currently, so hit okay. Oh no, I don't wanna do that. I wanna do the whole thing. Okay, <laughs> now let's try it. Um, colors, color to alpha. All right, that's better, now hit okay. Oh, is it still selected? Oh, how could I? How did I not see that? Control Shift A. Then we're gonna do colors, uh, colors to alpha. We're gonna get through this, guys, and then we're gonna hit OK. All right. Um, and now we want to select a different area. I guess I could have had it, huh? Because it didn't really. That was the spot I had selected, anyways. 
Uh, let's just do a different one though. And then, you know, to save face. We'll just select that right there. There we go. Control C, and it's gonna replace this one now because it's only taking what we have on the clipboard. There we go. And then now let's come back into our image. And now we're gonna use it as a brush. There we go. And then we go ahead and put that in. Now obviously those colors are not the colors we want, but actually let's do this. Let's get rid of that. Let's change our opacity here. Kind of, we're, we're kind of tangenting now, but that's okay. I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's uh, just mess around with this stuff. And then um, let's change the size a little bit, actually, too. Let's, ooh, way too big. Okay, there we go. And uh, let's make the spacing not so large. There we go. Yeah, see, I like that. Yeah, we're good. We're darken it a little bit. Be a little bit darker up here, you know? So it looks like it's a little bit closer. There we go on the corners. Yeah. It's good. It's good. And if we get really far away, it looks even a lot better. <laughs> so, all right, guys. I hope you had fun. Uh, I certainly did. I uh, hope you learned a lot. This is Jake from Wild Academy. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much. Share it, like it, thumbs, thumbs up. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a good night. Talk to you later on day 16 of the Learn GIMP tutorial series.